Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be showing you an easy way to stay organized when attacking large multi-part targets such as an airfield. So let's go ahead and take a look at the problem. So what we have here up in lovely Nevada is this rather complicated target uh, consisting of many, many different units uh, sort of spread all around all the different places that we have here. And uh, one of the problems we have with this, of course, is uh, we want to blow it up and we want to do a really thorough job. So normally what we do is we do something like this. I call this uh, strike this kind of a thing. Come over here to land strike. I press the okie doke button. I've got plenty of aircraft to do this with. I grab my F-16s, mark them as escorts, kind of a thing like that. Um, I'd say time on targets. And eh, we'll go ahead and say that it's a 13. 15 target time. I think that's fair, just to make sure they're nice and organized. Then, of course, you go under mission settings. You'd set the strikers to be single strikers, which is got to be the way to do it. We'd come to escorts. We'd probably set a groups of three here just to kind of keep it sort of like a nice even size kind of a thing like that. The next thing, of course, we would do is we come down here and we'd say we want to do a stacked attack with a pretty typical. We'll do split 30 seconds. We'll do this one, split distance, and we'll keep this one pretty all set. The other thing we would do because we're super careful is we come over to escorts. We'd set this to be like a 30 nautical mile. We don't want them to go running halfway across Nevada to chase down a MiG-21 kind of a thing. And we'd be happy with it. And we go ahead and close the screen. And we're like, oh, this is a good day. This is a good day. We'd fast forward time. You can see everybody uh, grouping up right there. They're getting their big, 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 big posse here. And uh, they're getting ready for time. They're getting ready for time. Everybody's all kind of taking off. Give them a few moments. And there's 1315. Uh, we seem to be having a bit of an issue uh, with our takeoff time here. Uh, what do we work? Task on mission. Did somebody not launch? Aha. You folks did not launch because I poked in the wrong time of day. That's okay, though. That was my mistake. I'll go ahead and do a launch individually here, kind of a thing like that. And that'll get everybody kind of airborne sort of a thing. And they'll be on their way. And you'll see where the problems start pretty much right away once we get up in the air there. All right. Go ahead and pause time. Oh, here we go. Mission's on. Dun, 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 dun. If you take a look now, you can see all of my bombers have done exactly what I've asked them to do. They're all splitting into individual targets and they're breaking into different components, all getting ready to go ahead and turn at the same time. My escorts are running and doing what my escorts do best, which is uh, be useless. Uh, kind of, you know, typical sort of stuff here, but of course. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Did I mention that I might have a couple uh, enemy airplanes to defend this location here? Which is part of the point, by the way. Also, as we can see here, my escorts are doing their thing. They're firing away. Uh, again, everybody's set to DLC. My B-52s are kind of going wide here. Um, of course, I'm looking at the B-52s over here, and uh, they're taking kind of the long way. Uh, in a few moments, they're going to be turning in to go ahead and do their attack. Uh, some missiles are arriving. Some people are getting there a little early. Some people are getting there a little bit late. Um, you can see here there's even more aircraft taken off. Our little last-minute F-16 kind of doing this little thing here. And, of course, uh, we have these two bombers, which are you know, pretty much heading up to Washington State here, uh, and again, causing all sorts of fun little issues with us. And um, again, messy, 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 messy. So let's go ahead and reopen our scenario here. Yes, I name all my scenarios the same thing. Too bad. And um, let's see if we can make that a little bit better. And again, I did a little bit of hyperbole here just to give you an idea of you know how these things can go kind of too far too quickly. But again, we'll deal with that in a second. So let's try a new approach. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my target. I'm going to press Control F11 here. I'm going to go ahead and type this. I'll say buff one, and I'm going to go ahead and call this one in now. Land strike. I'm going to set this one to inactive. That looks pretty groovy to me. Press OK. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create a mission template, and we're going to take that template and use it to go ahead and set up the rest of our missions. So time on target. I'm going to make sure this is inactive, so I don't accidentally. I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to say that the time on target is going to be 13:30. I think that's going to be plenty. Let's make sure it's 8.15, August 15th. Uh, that looks pretty good to me. I'm going to go to my mission settings. I'm going to do flights of one, flights of one. And I'm going to come down here. I'm going to be a little realistic here. We'll say, go ahead and expand all ordnance, kind of a thing like that. We could do per loadout setting. Eh, just let it rip. All right, let's see here. MCON, I'm going to turn on the radar for the last line. Actually, I'm not going to mess with this because I know what happens if you mess with it. So active radar ingress. Yep, that sounds good to me. This looks good to me. Uh, we're going to go ahead and say formation, single aim, which you're all going, what, why? I'm going to come down here and allow off-axis attack. Uh, next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go pop over to my escorts real quickly. I'm going to do flight sizes of three. <laughs> And uh, what I'm going to do now is, um, you notice, I have a lot of targets in here, and they're all looking pretty solid here. And don't worry, we're going to be striking them very shortly. But what I do want to do is I want to go to my escort real quick. And I just want to confirm really, really quickly, notice there's never, no WRA in here, is the fact that there's nothing that's been kind of like set right or wrong in here. Just, just a quick little double check. But one thing that's really, really important is I have my weapon state pre-planned. You just have to keep in mind that um, you want to make sure they can use all the weapons they can. Sometimes they don't. So in this case, I'm actually going to do something super scandalous and say it's okay for them to use their air-to-air -air cannons. They're F-16s. They're going to be okay in an air-to-air -air dogfight. I'm pretty sure they're good at that. So that's all been set up and now I'm ready to go. So this is my mission template. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here. I'm actually going to clone this mission. Now, as you know, I have a total of, let's see here, I believe I have eight buffs. Ah, that's a little better. So one of the coolest things that we have here is this great new feature that'll actually let you know if you're already targeting a target. You'll actually see here that all of these missions here say that all of these targets are being struck by seven other strike missions. Now you're sitting here going, oh, I see what you're gonna do. And the answer is yes. What I'm going to do is delete the targets out of all of these missions. And voila. So now I know that all the targets are now ready to be utilized for the purposes of this mission. And one of the really, really cool things here, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit here so you can kind of sort of see this sort of side by side. One of the things I'm going to do is I'm actually going to press the 9 key on my numpad. And what that's going to do is open it up so it makes it a little bit more obvious which targets are going to be right. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and press the asterisk key. And that's going to go ahead and turn on my labels here. So check out this really, really fun trick here. I'll go ahead and clean this one out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a target here. I'm going to pick this group of targets real quickly here. I'm going to go and select that group real fast and I'm going to go ahead and add those targets to the map. It's going to scream at you. So now I've gone ahead and popped them in there so I know the fact that they're ready to go. So now all I have to do is go over to my units and go ahead and add in my bombers. So I add in my bomber, I grab one, two, three F-16s, I mark my F-16s as escort. So that mission is done. So now I can go ahead and come down here just for safety's sake and activate it. So now let's pop over to the next mission. So now I have a different group of aircraft. I'll go ahead and bring that one down. Unfortunately, one of the things it does is it tries to highlight the aircraft as you add them. So some people wait to the end. So I'm looking down here and I've targeted this group up here. And the reason I know I've targeted is if I come in here again and go to no targets, if I go add units on map, what it will do is it'll warn me that I've already put them on an existing strike mission. So I'm gonna come down here. I'm gonna add this little posse real quickly. It's gonna scream at me again. And again, I'm just gonna repeat the same process. I'm gonna go into my B-52. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that one down here. Grab my three F-16s, pop them down, click and then mark selected as escorts. So buff two is now ready to be activated. And again, remember, my time on target is the same as it was from before. You can kind of see the way this goes. So you're going to be doing this ad nauseum, except for one check at the end. Ah, oh, that was all set. That entire process probably took me about a minute. And that's about as much time as it won. Now, the one check you can do at the end is you can actually create a fake mission to confirm that all the targets that you selected in that area are actually being struck. Let me show you what I mean there. So if I were to grab this target real quickly and just add fake mission here, I'll call this a fake mission. Google, that's not how you spell any of that. Don't worry about that though. Press OK. One of the things you can do is if you go to that fake mission real quick here, I can actually see that there are new targets uh, selected for it. So if I add those targets, whoopsies, I bet you I picked a target that I bet you I did what I wasn't supposed to do. I picked myself. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run up here, select that one again real fast. I'll call this one again. We'll be a little more careful this time. Fake mission. And that's how you spell that either. But oh, well, strike, land strike, press OK. One of the things I can do is I can take a look at this just to make sure my fake mission is covering every single target. And I can see here that every single one of these targets is being struck by at least one particular attacker. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this mission. No, we don't need this mission here. But one of the things I love is everything's nice and neatly spread out. All the MCONs set up, my aircraft, I'll have all the proper escorts. The time on target is all nice and squared away. Everything is all beautifully set up for us. So now I can just sit here and, oh, how's your week? Oh, it's been a busy week for me. Let's go ahead and I'll go ahead and shut those little warnings out there. It looks pretty good to me. That's fun to watch the F-16s in action here. Oh, they're already having some fun with uh, some of the MiG-21s. Ah, they're, oh, they're having a good time. And you can see here, my buffs are naturally spreading out exactly like we asked them to do. Some of them are speeding up. Some of them are automatically slowing down. And uh, what you're probably observing is a lot of AMRAMs. And I'm glad I'm not going to get the bill for that because uh, it makes me feel pretty bad here. And of course, every time somebody comes up to launch again, one of the things you probably observe is our F-16s are having no difficulty going up to come up and say hello. Uh, several F-16s have definitely done the dog fighting thing here, which has been very entertaining to watch. So one of the cool things here is you can see all my bombers are arriving on scene from weird directions, striking well-clustered targets that are away from everybody else, while my F-16s, who are nice and neatly spread out, each one escorting their own charges, are neatly and relaxing, just doing their thing. You can see each one of my groups just comes in. They're within 30 seconds of each other. They're coming from opposite directions. My escorts are doing a perfect job of uh, kind of keeping busy. You can see my last couple bombers are coming in. Look at that, perfect synchronous there, doing their thing. And of course, we're striking all sorts of different targets around this airfield without stressing about like hitting the individual ones. And meanwhile, I still have escort aircraft just kind of doing their thing, staying up in the air here. So let's fast forward time here. You can see everybody's heading home. Everybody's gonna land. Now, I know you're all sitting here going, okay, that was actually pretty cool. Not bad, not bad. So what is the result of all this? So let's take a look here. So I'm gonna go to losses and expenditures here. And there's a bunch of things I see. Uh, first of all, we got uh, 23 of the MiG-17s, 24 of the MiG-21s, nice. Uh, the other thing I noticed is I lost two F-16s, 
It's going to happen, especially when you throw 48 enemy aircraft at them. But the most interesting part here is I lost no B-52s. And now you can see just how many AMRAMs I went through here. But my favorite part of this entire thing here is if we actually switch to the other side, let me pause my scenario for a second here. If I go back to red, I go press the 9 key, you can see that my bombers did their job perfectly. They did everything I asked them to do. And you can see how it neatly spread out all the damage throughout this particular place, rather than accidentally concentrating everything in one spot. Is it perfect? No, I would need a few more bombers and I'd have to use each one of these F-16s like tactically dropping one bomb at a time. But you can see that we've absolutely devastated this, including a smushing one of the runways, which apparently I caught it on fire. I don't know how that works, but we'll just we'll imagine it does. But you can see just how much damage I was able to do to this facility very quickly quickly and easily, accurately, and how my escorts were carefully, precisely metered out to prevent any sort of, uh, you know, basically getting ahead of ourselves like we saw in that original scenario. Enjoy.